Hi dear ones, if you're interested to know how to make a perfect spaghetti that doesn't stick, then make sure you watch the whole video. This is a spaghetti dish for vegan or vegetarian and for anybody else. Just delicious, mouth-watering, don't miss it. I can't wait to try. Sorry, good appetite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, dear ones. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. Today is another special day, and we're going to have a really delicious colorful spaghetti and vegetable meal just make sure you watch this video guys you'll even lick your fingers it's really really delicious don't miss it and it's very simple i'll show you the recipe and you try it and make sure you try it and you'll see how good it is so enjoy watching and if you're new here to the channel please consider subscribing and clicking on the bell button so that you don't miss any video so thank you so much for tuning in and enjoy watching so dear ones first things first and i just started by boiling my water of course you have to read the instructions on your spaghetti and mine says i have to cook it for like eight minutes then i added some salt and oil just to make the spaghetti taste good and so that it doesn't stick and i just remind you please make sure you have a high pot so that the spaghetti can cook and sink inside the water as it cooks to get the best result and make sure you always keep on turning so because i was doing a colorful meal today i finished cooking my colorful spaghetti now i go to my colorful vegetables i have my spinach i have my red paprika i have my tomatoes two different kinds of corianders and then i have spring onions and that is going to be what i have i also have mushrooms yet i got these brown mushrooms and by the way that is how my spaghetti turned out to be and you make sure please make sure that is another tip you're getting from me a secret always wash your spaghetti with cold water to get this kind of results so that they don't stick together i hope you had that and you'll thank me later for this secret so i go ahead and wash my mushrooms and cut them in small pieces and let them to dry oh i have by the way a twins mushroom <laughs> that is what I just wanted to show you that is a twin mushroom so I started by frying my mushrooms which I already cut in small pieces and just fry them fast because you know mushrooms always produce a lot of uh, like water or fluid so that is actually what I mean are you seeing that I just put some oil and now you can see how it is so in the meantime i was preparing my vegetable you can see that italian color green red and white <laughs> that is my italian i am for italian i have a lot of friends who come from italy so by the way i added now my onions the spring onions and the white onions to the mushrooms and the uh, frying for maybe like another five minutes I leave them to fry and after that I am going to add the paprika and the tomatoes inside there so ah, it's actually very easy and this is one of my favorite recipes so this is the right time now to add my onions and the paprika to it and just fry it and again for another five minutes and when it has cooked very well then you're going to add in some spices make sure you taste so i just added some salt i added some coriander i added some pepper i added some just normal spices that you you think you like to have i have grounded paprika that i added to it also so just basically 
what I always use. I don't normally use a lot of spices. And then I cut my spinach and I added them inside there. So that is my green spinach and coriander. So it's getting more colorful and colorful and colorful and more healthy and healthy and nutritious. So I went on cook this for another five minutes and then it is now ready to be served. By the way, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss this kind of recipes. And thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support, guys. I know you are amazing people. So I cooked it just for five minutes, like I said, not a long time. And then I added my sour cream to it to give it that creamy kind of taste and look wow that is yummy it's delicious already i love it guys this thing is just delicious mouth watering and you guys make sure you try it and let me know <laughs> let me know how it works for you so you don't cook it for a longer time after you've put the milk cream then you're just ready to serve. So I just put my nice colored spaghetti and my nice colored vegetables. And guys, this recipe is just delicious. It's fantastic. And if you are sincere, you're going to thank me for that personally later. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up for this nice recipe. And let me know what you like me to cook for you next time because I cook diversities of foods. So I love diversity and my channel is full of diversity. And I just love you guys. Thank you so much for being part of me. I wish I could be able to invite you to join me in eating our dinner. It is a pleasure having you as my guest. And if you're new today, you're welcome again. Oh my goodness guys need to try this it's I can't wait to try sorry good appetite mm. <laughs> so guys thank you so much for being my guest I appreciate you for taking your time Please make sure you try this recipe and I guarantee you, you will love it. Otherwise, if you're new today for the first time watching, I hope you like it. And please consider subscribing and clicking on the bell for more videos. And for my oldies, my goodies, my friends, let's rock it together. So please make sure you like this video if you like it share it with your friends so that they get to know about this simple easy delicious recipe and guys i hope to see you in the next video stay safe goodbye look at that <laughs> Yummy, yummy, yummy.